Now that we've talked about the normal distribution and the idea that there are an infinite number of them referenced by the mean and the standard deviation, combined with the fact that we can use that distribution in terms of probability, we can start to answer a very interesting question. How normal am I or how weird am I? Remember that the normal distribution has the following properties. Most of the points, two thirds or 68% are within one standard deviation of the mean. Almost all the points are within two. So that's our 95 percent right here. And then we said like, no, literally, dude, almost all, like 99% are within three. When we couple that with the fact that this can be thought of in terms of probability, we can now say, what's the chance if I randomly pulled somebody out of this distribution that I would see certain values? And this allows you to start to ask questions. Say you take a standardized test and you want to know, how did I do? Well, you got uh, 1,200 something. Well, what is that? Well, it's equal to the mean, or maybe it's one standard deviation above, or two standard deviations, or three standard deviations above. And this gives you a sense that you can reference yourself in this normal distribution. How's my blood pressure? Your blood pressure is high. It's four standard deviations above the mean. You don't even need to know the units or the numbers or anything. All you need to know is, wow, that's really high. So when we're given a distribution and it's normal with the mean and the standard deviation, now we can think about what's the probability that an individual selected at random will be between these limits. And we can use this for anything that we think is distributed with this Gaussian or this normal shape.